Exactly 22 minutes to the top of the hour. You're right in time for our first conversation of the day. We want to dig deeper to this Hustler Fund, which we are expecting it to be launched this uh, basically today by the president. This is at the Green Park Terminus. We are also expecting various leaders together with the cabinet um, secretary for small and medium enterprises, that is Simon Chelugui. And there's a lot of questions that Kenyans are asking about this particular fund, the issues of interest. Um, uh, the issues of the limit as well together with so many other questions and this is what you are set to unpack in the next like an hour or so with my guest on set I'm joined by Dr. Joseph Rotich who is a political analyst we shall also be joined via Zoom momentarily by Hamis Simboga who is a political as well as governance expert carry to the program Dr. Thank you thank you Master. so my uh, Doreen yeah so I'm um, happy to hear that you're talking about the hustle of hand. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a proponent of this uh, uh, particular fund. I am, but you see, uh, there are things that we need to discuss uh -huh. which are very pertinent, especially yeah. to do with the funds itself. Huh? Uh -huh. uh, Doreen, you can remember that uh, as at the moment, we have several funds. Uh. We, have, we, we had Youth Enterprise Fund. Yes. We had WESO Fund. We had Women Enterprise Fund. Uh -huh. And so many other funds. Now, that we are having what you call the Hustler Fund. And um, there are a lot of uh, questions than answers when it comes to Hustler Fund, uh, Doreen. Yes. You can remember the background under which this fund was founded. Just hold it there, hold it there, and we will come to all these other funds. You've talked about the Youth Fund, Weso Fund, yes. Women Enterprise Fund. Yes. In fact, the last time I, I left was that this particular fund was supposed to be collapsed into one, call it the Biashara the fund. fund. You know, but let's just start from the onset. During the campaign trail, Dr. Ruto talked about it being zero interest. And I can tell you for sure, many Kenyans are backing on that so that then this would make it different from all these other funds that exist. But, you know, months or weeks, weeks later, he said that, where's the Patiwa Pesayabure? <laughs> this is money for loan. I mean, government can't give you free money. And so 8% per year prorated. So just make me understand, and also for Kenyans to understand, the difference between what was talked about in public rallies as opposed to actually what you meet in government. And then you realize you can't quite run government like that. I, I, I think, uh, Doreen, uh, the most important thing that we need to understand is that um, during politics, okay. people can say anything. Uh, they can promise you heaven, if not heaven, it is somewhere under the sun. And uh, when it, the reality uh, dawns, like now, mm -hmm. we must realize that we must look at what is it that we have that we can offer. Okay. And in any case, when you talk of the Hustler Fund, where, what, where is the source? What is the source of this fund? Okay. Because we may be talking about that source that also has an interest. Right. We may be talking about a borrowed, a borrowed money from some place, which, of course, uh, the government is yet to confide us to it. Mm -hmm. But the issue, uh, uh, Doreen, that was promised during the campaign, yeah. that uh, this Hustler Fund is going to meet the interest, the, the aspirations of the, law, of the lowest mm -hmm. of our economy, mm -hmm. to meet the people who have nothing completely, the starters who are, want to start a business. And, um, and Doreen, you, 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 you must also bear in mind that we have already... Uh, formal and informal financial institutions who are also offering funds mm -hmm. almost at the same interest because we, we, we get uh, the, 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 the cash, whatever from I mean, the cash uh, transfer fund mm -hmm. from um, the M Pesa, from the, 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 the commercial banks yeah. at almost the 8.75 percent. Mm -hmm. And um, now, talking of an ways of fun at eight percent is something that people have really come up I mean, uh, they have looked at it at, with a lot of eyebrows. Why is it that it is that much? And then again, the, the limit of the time frame when to pay this money is about, say, two months or so. I mean, that, I don't know whether that one is the, the true position. But uh, in my own analysis, uh, Doreen, uh, the 8% interest rate is still on the higher side. And uh, I would have expected that it was, if, it, if the fund was going to meet the need of the needy, I mean the needs of the needy. Mm -hmm. I mean the interest rates should have been collapsed to about 5%. Okay. That would have made a whole world of difference. Because look at the waste of fund, uh, Doreen. It was almost a 0% interest rate. Mm -hmm. But how many people benefit? How many people Actually, took that fund? Actually, it fund? is zero. Yeah, yeah, yes. So in this case, if people were fearing the waste of fund to take just because it was to be repaid, and just because it was a loan, a soft loan, how about a loan that is over that 8%? I hear you. Uh, so it, it, is, it is going to be a difficult task. And it, it may not really... Uh, I, I, I don't want to water down 
uh, the, what, what, what the, the, the real objective of the ways of an. But what, what I'm just asking, I'm asking the, 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 the propos, provocators uh -huh. of the same fan that the only way this fan can help the needy of the needy is when the interest rate is reduced to minimum. Uh -huh. At least 5%. 8% is on the higher side, okay. uh, Doreen. Thank you. Thank you. I hear you. And I just want to bring Hamisi Mboga on this one who is joining us via Zoom. Hamisi, if you can hear me, there's the issue of what is promised during campaign trail and actually coming to reality, just boring from what Do uh, Dr. Rutich is talking about here. But then what does this speak about our leaders? Because Kenyans are watching, Hamisi. Thank you, Doreen. It's nice to be with you. I want to wish you everybody well. And this was a fund. Everybody was this, this hustler fund. Everybody was waiting for it. But we have a number of questions. Uh, those of us who are reading between the lines, those of us who are, of us are looking from an economic point of view, and uh, those of us who are looking at the policy issue, we have, have a number of questions uh, to ask. The hustler fund. Okay, does it have age limit? Is it anybody with a hustler like Hamisi and the rest? Or is it for youth? Is it for women? And how many, you know, the catchment in terms of the hustlers, we are a bit, I think we are many. How would it fit and for how long? Uh, somebody was talking about, in fact, I'm waiting to hear after the launch. Uh, when do you get it? Where do you get it from? Uh, when do you pay it back? What do you do so that you can be able to pay it back? People were talking about seven days, 20 days. What do you do with it in that duration of time to be able to pay back and still continue with if it is business? Mm -hmm. So, yes, very good. And the other thing is like uh, what my colleague has said is about the interest rate. This one should be zero rate. Should be zero rate. I'm asking the president to say to exactly do what he said. This fund will be zero rated. So that uh, if anything, if you want our administration, then 2% is okay as, as far as uh, the poverty index is, uh, is considered. So why don't we put it, if, if we have to pay uh, interest, why not 2% uh, administration kind of? And also where does the money come? Do we borrow it from the government, which department, and from which institutions? And those institutions have their laws, have their uh, procedures, and they have their their costs. I'm looking at it so that the government can come clear with a clear policy, educate people who is supposed to get it, who will get it, uh, when does it pay back? Is it is it to if I get a fund today and I want to go to Congoya Market to buy something, and then my child is sick, do I go and buy medicine or do I go and buy fruit to to sell so that I can pay the back? There, okay. there are so many security issues. On the fund so we're looking forward to it i want to listen to the president very clearly uh -huh. but then we're looking at uh, how will the hustler know the details the nitty-gritty of, of the fund uh -huh. who will qualify uh, -huh. uh he, 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 i'm told you just have a code he, a code on your phone how will it be controlled uh last month we saw people had stolen all the SIM cards and all the cell phones. Are we not giving these people a, a leeway to get all the funds? I think that basically on the plate, this is what is okay. they are supposed to be. Okay, yeah. I mean, clearly you can just speak from that. There's, there's so many questions than there is answers. But I want to just again pick your brains on something that you also equally touched on. And this is in respect to the operationalization of this particular fund. The launch date is obviously today. The product being launched particularly is the personal finance. So we are talking about the credit of the 500 to 50,000 Kenya shillings. That is what is being launched today. The interest rate, as we've talked about, is 8%. Per, per annum prorated and the refund period of this particular one is 14 days let me just get your mind on this one hamisi 14 days of returning of this uh, particular product the personal finance we are talking about hustlers here how practical is this and what does and how does this even make it different from the already existing funds in the market uh, thank you very much. Uh, these are the questions that those of us who have done some work, uh, I, I went to Congoya Market and looked at the, the traders, the hustlers there, and looked at the, the process for them to get the product. They come and buy the product. Some of them go to sell 
outside the market some of them sell at the market and sometimes if the traders don't sell anything that day and they have already bought the, the products there is so i'm worried about what is it for if it is to do business then you have to get a fund do the business get your your money and then uh, uh, give back that period is very short for any business person especially the hustler level the, the so-called the hustler level at the low low level. and then sometimes the, the weather sometimes it's so hot people don't come to the market and i'm looking at that only hustler at that market but there are so many hustlers doing the other things if you're buying something to be able to cook and and sell it has its own challenges and you may not be able to raise that that money back in the 14 days uh that is our worry uh -huh. the process of getting that fund sometimes uh, conditionalities you know money is money you cannot just be given money like what he said those conditionalities sometimes in the bureaucracy of our government and of the government the process may not be as fast as you think when do you apply when do you get and uh, what do you do we prepared our mindset when i get this money i'll do this and this will happen you know there are a lot of assumptions in the process and maybe i'm looking i'm waiting for the police i'm looking for the lunch uh, report and also the policy that will guide us okay. and the, who is involved in the fund until i get it at uh, at mombasa and i go to do the business that i want to do all right and the market sometimes it's a drive you know so i still have some questions on <laughs> on the amount of money yeah. the return uh -huh. so the process is here uh -huh. i mean i mean just dr rutich listening to her <laughs> speak there as a governance and political expert having so many questions than answers you can just imagine the kind of questions that kenyans equally have but it looks like we are in agreement i mean both of you so to speak in the aspect of uh, the eight uh, percent interest that it needs to come down but also on the timelines of the time frame 14 days for this particular product being launched today do you think it's something that also moving forward needs to be revised I, I think Doreen by all indication the fund and the conditionalities must be ref, I mean uh, re, 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 fine yeah. because uh, look at it uh, Doreen the way I look at it uh, I, I look at it this way we are talking about the hustlers when I'm talking about the hustlers I'm, the person who comes into my mind is Boda uh -huh. the person who comes <coughs> into my mind is um, uh, Mama Boga the person who comes into my mind is Mutu Amkokoteni and uh, you are talking about charging 8% that person. And this is your definition? Yes, uh, that mean, and I, I'm, no, I'm just giving you the realities on the ground. Because right. whatever we are discussing, Doreen, mm -hmm. we must look at the, our background. Who, who are these people we are targeting? I mean, because also there was that question, how do you define yes. hus and hus a hustler? Who do you say is it, my, my, my position today, Doreen, let me talk to, let me, let me refer to a hustler, a border border man on the ground. All right. Let me refer to Amina, 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 let me refer to Mama Mboka. All these people who are actually on the ground. Because we, before we talk about the time frame, Doreen, we must look at into, I mean, what type of business are they actually undertaking? Is it a business that takes a day or two to, to, to sell or buy and sell? Is it a business that takes how many weeks? Because if you are talking about the 14 days, to, I mean, the, the, to mature, the, the loan to mature for the repayment, I mean, it is like you are just giving me by this hand and you are taking by the other hand. That means if I don't have time to pay, for fear of penalties that means as soon as i receive i'll return you your money mm -hmm. and, it doesn't uh, and it doesn't help so in this case i think uh, the the framers of these policies actually must relook at the whole idea and when they are actually relooking uh, re at the whole idea yeah. they must also look at the background they are talking about the, who are these people they are targeting mm -hmm. uh, is it possible to do i mean in, in the practical world is it possible to do the, the, the business with this money? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something that uh, we must look into. And um, the fund is, 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 is very important, Doreen. Mm -hmm. And um, if the fund is targeted to, I mean, to, to benefit the, the very low of the lowest of our economy, and then, I, I mean, the, 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 the time frame and the, the interest rates and the, the, the policies must be reframed. Mm -hmm so that it will regularly sweep into their needs otherwise it will be a political gimmick uh -huh. there was there were also issues of uh, pegging this particular fund through appropriation by parliament and the rival question has been has it really passed through parliament or is it just an act of regulation and what is the space of parliament 
in this particular fund? I think this, uh, Doreen, this thing has passed through a number of participation, or um, and I believe, of course, that is not a big deal. If the government today want to do you something, you say it's not a big deal. They're, 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 no, they're, what, what I'm saying, Doreen, uh, the, 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 the parliament as it is constituted as of today, okay. they, they, they can do that just like a, a, I mean, a, a lightning light, I mean, something like, like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many things have been, have been passed within a short time? Mm -hmm. no, so long as it is not held through the court procedure or court through or whatever, I mean, that thing will really pass through. I'm not fearing about whether it will go through, to, I mean, through parliament or not. What I'm fearing is the practicability of the whole project. But honestly, Dr. Rettich, can you really appropriate, and this is something new we should say, and can you really just appropriate a new fund, a new fund without the input of parliament? There is no way, Doreen, what I'm saying, if they want to do so, of course they are launching today. Okay. They have, uh, the, 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 the project has undergone, I mean, uh, a lot of uh, participations. Yeah. We, have, we have had a participation being, being Yeah, they were traversing the country. Yeah, yes. And then in this case, of course, out of this participation, of course, the, the parliament will just endorse. Because this is something that it has passed through the process as per the constitution. And of course, you must know, Doreen, that there are so many funds that have passed through the parliament, I mean, as a, I mean, at the, act, the act of parliament. Mm -hmm. We have the, the, the CDF as it is. It, it, is a, it is a product of the parliamentary act. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, this one, I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about the whole process is the practicability of the, of the procedures that have actually put in place. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, bearing in mind the people we are targeting on the ground. Not unless, Doreen, we are targeting people who are already established in business. Mm -hmm. If you are targeting somebody who is already running a business, the 14 days to pay the, 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 the loan, I mean, uh, it's not a big deal. I mean, uh, the loan plus the interest. I believe... Even if the loan has been, if the interest rate is as high as it is now, I, I'm, I'm also believing that the, the time frame to pay the same should have been more uh, than two weeks. It should be two months and above, or even six months. So in this case, that, that is what I was saying. If, if, if West of which was a free fund, could not be taken just because of the conditions that it also had, mm -hmm. as meek as they were, how, how far is this one going to be functional if it is 8%? Thank you. That, that, that is my big question. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. I hear you. Hamisi, I also want to pick your brains on the same. Is this, was this really supposed to be an act of parliament or just regulations as is? And what is the place of parliament in appropriating such a fund? Because, I mean, think about it. This is a new fund. It is something new. And it's just passing through a regulation without really parliament's input at the end of the day. Yes, so uh, I, I told you, Boris Doreen, from the beginning that there are quite a number of, of questions, legal legal questions, uh, administrative questions, and even political questions that uh, surround this idea. It's a very good idea, and I, I would wish that it is done properly so that it benefits more people. Uh, so we, we have that angle of new, new, new project. Uh -huh. We have that uh, issue of... Uh, and making sure that the legal aspect has been taken care of in terms of legislation. But I also want to say in a bigger project like this one, the way I think it, it may not be the way the president and other people think about it, but a bigger project like this, you need to have a pilot. I wish uh, the president says we're launching today, we're doing a pilot for the next three, four months, because it is, this is coming if you give me the money today. Uh, it will be Christmas and also school fees yeah. in January. Yeah, so yeah. We, we, we have a pilot kind of a sample from a number of uh, counties that they receive these funds and say, how is the return? Because that will inform us, inform the Indian administrators that this is a best way. And then the, the things that we learn, we can come and uh, say, how do we correct this one before it, it is sent to to many, many, many people. I, identification, who is going, if it is launched today, who is going to be identified as the recipient? Who are these involved? We have seen the procedures of the Kenyans. If you bring it to the local level, there will be local interests. Uh, will the people get information, the right people get information, or those people who are able will be able to get it? You, you, you look at the low cost housing, uh -huh. It is given to the lowest, and then the, 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 those guys save it again or they pass it again to those people who are able. So there are so many social, ethical, uh, legislative, administrative questions that should be answered or should be looked at. Let it be launched, let it be piloted, and let's see what will happen. How about these, those other plants that are there? Are we combining all of them so that we have uh -huh. one system of uh, funding with a low? If I use the, the concept of my brother, 
the lowest of the law of the Kenyans, the hustlers. I have a lot of questions, but it's a very good project. I don't know how we can be able to influence that. Let's, let, I'm more happy to pilot it immediately in mm -hmm. a number of counties. Don't forget Mombasa when <laughs> you, you are piloting it. <laughs> okay, I hear, I, hear, I hear you, Hamisi. I hear you, Hamisi Mbogad. I mean, that's a very good uh, you know, point you're raising there, that how about we pilot it first before we actually fully launched it um, out to the market. But I just want you to hold it there. I want to take a very quick breather at this point. We circle back with plenty more of this conversation, trying to understand and demystify just before the fund is launched. Time for that break. Stay with us. Welcome back to the program. We continue apace with our conversation. I have created FaceTime with Dr. Joseph Rutich, who is a political analyst, as well as Hamisi Boga, who is joining us via Zoom. He is a political as well as governance expert. Let's just pick it up from that particular note. And there's, you know, very um, pertinent questions that both of you are raising. And, you know, off top of my head, I was just thinking that if these are experts, political experts, governance experts raising these questions, how about that Kenyan down there, as you call them, <laughs> the Mamamboga, the Boda Boda riders, who may not even be understanding, you know, how it really works at the end of the day. But again, there's also a question that is really quite pertinent. That's the issue of um, where this money is coming from. Supplementary budget hasn't yet been passed. This one did feature in the 2021-2022 um, uh, budget. So questions are coming out. How, where is this money coming from? Because if you know where it's coming from, then you will know the sustainability of it at the end of the day. What would you have to say in respect uh, to this? Uh, and, I think, uh, and, and was it envisaged? I think, Doreen, this is something that was promised by the, the current government. Yeah, during the were, campaign? During the campaign. And uh, where the money will come from uh, is something that is best known to them, and I believe it is sustainable. Mm -hmm. And of course, how, is it, how, is it, how, how will it fail to be sustainable, uh, Doreen, when it is charging 8% interest rate? Let, be, let us believe that. So the people, interest they, will... They, 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 it will this, is a, this is a money that I, I may call it a revolving fund. Okay. But revolving fund that you pay at an interest. So in this case, uh, as my brother said about the issue of uh, doing a pilot project first okay. in the whole thing, but uh, I'm not for that, uh, Doreen, okay. because in this country we've had several funds. Mm. I've told you we had the WESO fund, we had the Youth Enterprise Fund, we had the uh, Women Enterprise Fund. All these funds have been operating in our, in our, in our system of yeah. economy, yeah. in our economy. So in this case, uh, the best place, and even we've had Fulisas, we've had Mshuari, all these things. I believe if we were to benchmark with them, we were going to rate ourselves the lowest. If we were really to target the lower of the lowest of our economy, we were going to rate ourselves below Fuliza, below Mshuari, below uh, what the, all these characters in the, in, the, in the financial market are actually judging, so that we can be able to be of help to our needy uh, economy. Because... Uh, when we say we, in fact, some of the commercial banks are, uh, with this MBES um, loan that, that they are actually operating, they, they, they even charge 8.5%, 8.75%. Mm -hmm. they, they, some can charge even 8%. So what, what difference are, are we going to have with this hustler fund, with those which are already existing? And uh, I believe the framers of this hustler fund may, should have actually come up with a way out whereby they were going to provide a solution to the majority of those needy financial, I mean, needy, needy, needy people, the bam, 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 yeah. And then from there, the only way to be as, that they would have assisted them is to charge the lowest interest rate. Uh -huh. I mean, the lowest interest rate as compared to those which are in the market. Uh -huh. So um, I, I believe the framers of uh, the conditions of this uh, hustler fund uh -huh. must, must go back to the drawing board so that we can bring almost everybody on board. Uh -huh. Those people we confessed about them, we bring them on board. When we say Mamamboka, we say Mamamboka who is going to have a 5% interest rate. When we say the Boda Boda, we say the Boda Boda who is going to have a 5% interest rate. So in this case, you are going to meet the bracket. You, you, you are going to net them all. In this case, uh, Doreen, yes. I'm foreseeing a situation whereby the, benefit, the real beneficiaries of this fund are the already established business people on the ground. Uh -huh. Because they will get this fund, further their business, and they will pay the 
without feeling anything. But part of the regulation says that, you know, for businesses that uh, have a, a turnover of less than 100 million, so the, how would you say the biggest businesses would really be the beneficiaries? When you say, Doreen, 100 okay, million, okay, how many people fine. have a turnover of 100 million? I mean, how many Kenyans are in that bracket? There are very few. Okay. They are only the top level, I mean, the, the, the world sellers, the world, all those who have what, higher turnovers in, my, in their sales. Okay. But when we look at our Mambamboka, who, who is hardly making 1,000 or 500 or 300 per day, these are the people that the Hazala Fund is actually targeting at. It's not targeting at, I mean, a million and a plus uh, benefits. I mean, those who are, I mean, uh, uh, we get profits of, I mean, a, a million and a half or okay. something like that by day. No, they are targeting the lowest. I mean, when you talk about these border borders, yeah. how much are they getting by day? Okay. They are hardly 700 if they can save. Okay. And then they have also to pay their own needed credits. They remain with something like 400. Mm -hmm. And this is the person I'm talking about, Doreen. I'm not talking about uh, wholesalers who are actually having a lot of money. I'm talking about that border border man. I'm talking about that border border, I mean, Mama Mboka. I'm talking about Mutu Mkoteni. Mwenye anapata kitu kama 300, 400, 700 per day. So these are the people we are targeting at. If the hustle of land is to function the way it was originally purposed. So in this case, what we need to do is to look into the interest rate, to look into the the time frame 14 days is too short for this particular for this particular fund i hear you thank you um hamisi do you think that there were proper mechanisms put in place to ascertain for the eligibility of those who you know will be able to get this fund particularly when you talk about those who have a turnover of less than a hundred million how do you even ascertain that this one who's applying indeed is eligible in that regard Yes, my view, like I said earlier, I think we need a time. We need a time to look at all those things, all these issues, these questions that have been raised today and are being raised. I think they are all valid questions, and the, we have other uh, other issues that are coming in. Is it going to be run by the established uh, uh, financial institutions, or is it going to be? I heard there's a board that is going to be composed that to be able to do. I, that board may even take more money than the money that the, the Mamambogas and the Buddha Borders are getting. Because the administration of such a fund will require a lot of uh, manpower, personnel. What is it going to be put to Safaricom so that the Safaricom can do it like Mshwari? Is it going to be put into <laughs> banks so that when you go to your bank, so that uh, we use the same personnel that are uh, already existing? But what will be the cost of, of doing that? And what will be the cost if you establish a board to run this? And you know, the moment we establish a board, we know we know ourselves in Kenya, mm -hmm. a lot of things come in, 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 into play. Mm -hmm. Then the identification of who gets uh, from which area. Mm -hmm. Because people are now looking at the covering. Mm -hmm. Is it covering the whole country? Is it covering a part of the community? So there are so many questions. Again, I'm coming to that concept that uh, we need cl clarity, clarification, and we need time. I think this sh we should go back to the drawing board. And also, the best thing we can do is let it be launched, let it start. But somebody should really understand yeah, understand the processes, the cost, the uh, issues that are coming to. Can people uh, get money and then disappear? Uh, because uh, even if you have taken my ID number and uh, my cell phone number, suppose I switch it off. Well, how would you get your money back? Uh, because if I see I've used the money and I can't pay, the best thing Kenyans do is they ignore. If they do ignore the payment, what will happen? Because somebody else is waiting in the, in the line to be able to get more and also to pay. Mm -hmm. So the all logistics, the uh, uh, issues that have to be considered, but uh, I still repeat the 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 concept so good. I wish it was zero rated. Whoever is able, you identify those hustlers, give them the money. Don't charge them anything this these six months until next year. But even that issue is bad because if you give me the money and I'm not being asked, uh, a payment is so difficult to do, especially financial payment. Uh, this fund is good, but let it be rethought. The process of uh, it get, where is this money coming from the exchequer and it, is it going to be audited uh -huh. because we know those, those, those issues that are uh, is it going to be another another scandal uh it, it's 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 interesting but uh, let, let the president do his job let him encourage us but okay. i'm asking can, can a team be so, formed some, it's I hear better you. to pay a team to look at the issue for 
for some time to give us a report. Even right. when we're saying we are changing the uh, education system, mm -hmm. people formed, uh, I mean, the government formed a team to even scrutinize some of the ways. And I think that some of the reports are coming. In less than three months, we can be able to have a new report for the Hustler Fund. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear you. I mean, so many questions that there is answers. So today at Green Park, we'll just be holding forward to actually, you know, see how all these questions will be unpacked. But you also talked about in the event that maybe someone disappears with the money or they don't pay. And also the previous funds have, you know, experienced this. But also in the new regulations, there was a 1.5% increase in terms of that interest rate so that anyone who defaults, then they end up paying 9.5% as opposed to 8%. Do you feel that this is much more stringent perhaps than to make, it would make someone you know, realize that if they borrow the fund or the money, then they need to just repay it. You no, know, after this long spell of corona and the, the hardship that we have had this year, if I was in a position, say, don't touch anybody who has gotten the government money because the people have really been hit. Look at the landlords, they're pushing people out. So, this is a bad period for anybody to pay back. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, be as it may, let's start it, but let's look at those difficult questions uh, like what you are raising. Those are all issues surrounding. And how much is the fund uh, going to go to uh, each hustler? Is it the 500 we're, is it the 500 we're told? Is it the 15,000 or 20,000? How do you know this one can be given 15? The other one can be given 75. Is there a criteria to say people with this kind of business will get it? I want to go back to the issue of Boda Boda. Uh, the way I, I know the experience we have here in Mombasa, uh -huh. the Boda Bodas don't belong, uh, the, 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 the tricycle don't, the uh, tricycle don't belong to the Boda Boda themselves. Uh -huh. There is a landlord who has bought in two, four, three, four, five bikes. And he gives you one in the evening you bring back so when you give the fund are you giving the the manager the owner of the bike or the, the rider uh -huh. these, these are also questions if you give the rider in fact he's just he doing tomorrow he can be he can be removed from that that business or from that uh, work of riding uh -huh. so if you look at the border board the majority don't want those, those border borders they belong to other people. So whom are we funding? If we say Boda Boda is also a hustler. Okay, okay. I'll come so to you, Doctor. Okay, okay. I'm speaking loud. I'm speaking loud clearly to, so that we have a very big discuss. All right. As the the, the right. fund is being launched, let's discuss these issues. All right. And I'll come to you, Dr. Ratish, on the issue of region. But before I get there, I just want you to perhaps even clarify or maybe elucidate on that particular issue, which you've constantly talked about, um, Hamisi, that the Hustler Fund is good. You have constantly said that this is a good initiative. But I just want to pick your brains, perhaps, how you think maybe this is different from the previous funds. For instance, Weso Fund was zero, or still is, zero interest. This one is talking about 8% um, interest. So in much as you're saying it's a good initiative, do you feel it's going to penetrate the market, given that we've had other funds which are zero interest rate zero interest rate i think according to let, let me let me let me just get um, <coughs> hamisi's response on this one because he has constantly said that this is a <laughs> a good project hamisi what would you say in respect to this one yes i would i would say that uh, do we have a report of the uh, of the experience of the other funds mm -hmm. uh because uh, if we don't have a report because that those reports could inform this one uh, how was how how what was the performance of the Wazo fund, the, the youth fund, all uh -huh. this? What were the challenges? Because there must have been some challenges. Yeah. Who can we get an idea? Who received those those funds? Which area was it concentrated in towns or even in in the in the villages where some of the really hustlers are? Uh -huh. So if we get a report, because reports always inform people, and we learn. We itemize the successes and the challenges and also a proposal of recommendations. So if we do that, then we can say coverage. What, one of the issues that we do in, in political science is coverage. What, what coverage did these other funds do? And is there a gap that we are filling? And if we're filling that gap, how uh -huh. and what? Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, I look at all those questions when I'm doing a paper, uh, and it, it may even stop you from moving. But I think let's move on 
while we are looking at there is a challenge you know, in, term, in terms of administration uh, is it filling a gap uh, are we not why don't we expand those other uh, ways of fund we make it so ways of uh, so that it can with people uh, all these questions are, are coming with if the administration was it so smooth and my brother has been mentioning some of these things I think let's go for it but let's go for it with a lot of caution, with a lot of uh, <laughs> information. Uh, can we get people advertise, publicize, involve people in discussion? Uh, this participation is also another uh, governance concept that uh, where people involved are people involved in terms of discussing about this. The idea can come from one person, but it can it should be uh, use that idea to uh, to include other people so that other ideas can come in. So yes, this is a good fund, mm -hmm. uh, let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still maintains it's a good one, but says we should go for it with a lot of caution. So then one would ask, I mean, Uwezo, 0% interest, why would I be going for Hustler Fund, which is 8% um, interest? I, I think that is a big question uh, that everybody is asking, uh, Doreen. Um, the question of availability. I'm not uh, questioning about that. I believe yeah. it will be available mm -hmm. because the whole thing looks commercial. Uh, it looks commercial. That's what you read. Yes, this. that is what I read. I, it looks commercial because of that uh, attracting high interest rates at the level of eight percent. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, um, when you talk about the time frame, mm -hmm. it seems like the whole thing is targeting people who are already established. I mean, people who are running money, mm -hmm. uh, people who are running business. And uh, because within a period of 14 days, uh, Doreen, for somebody who is making a startup today, even before he gets to know what he wants to do or what, make, what business he would want to start up with, uh, the, 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 the time frame of paying back the loan is already there. Because also there were concerns that then it's too little. In fact, I was just reading on the dailies today that uh, an economist, that is Mohammed Weli, is saying that this is really quite little, you know, with the 500 to 50,000. It, of, of course, it, to me, it is not little to a uh, I mean to, uh, a, hustler. to a hustler. Uh, it is not little to a hustler because hustler cannot even go for five hundred thousand. They may go for thirty thousand, fifty thousand, eighty thousand, hundred thousand. Hustlers work within the limit of about three hundred to five hundred thousand. So then, just allow me to butt in and perhaps make me understand. Call mm. me on this one. If you're saying that it's not too little, then how are you saying, on the other hand, um, that yes, it's not too little because a hustler cannot afford, you know, the five hundred thousand. This is perhaps what they can really afford at the end of the day. But you've just um, say, what's this that you've said? There's something that you've just said. Um, in respect to it being commercialized, yes. That no, those no, who, the, the reason those of... Uh, who, those my, who, are, who are on the higher cadre, the ones who are being targeted. Let, let me tell you, uh, Doreen, when I talk about uh, a commercial approach, okay. commercial approach in terms of the in interest rates. All right, all right. Because uh, when, when you go to the market, especially financial institutions, they are charging high interest rates. Commercial banks go 14% or go maybe 8%, 10%, 12%. And so many other informal and formal financial institutions, the way they are charging, they are charging according to the market rates. I mean, according to the market uh, availability. Like now, when you talk about the hustlers, uh, I, uh, the background of my hustler narrative, yes. uh, Doreen, yes. is that man on the ground. I'm not, about, I'm not talking about those people who are earning millions per day. I'm talking about that person who is earning hardly 1,000 per day. That is the person I'm talking about. And when you talk about, when, if we are really targeting that person and uh, give him 15%, 20%, 30%, I mean, not, I mean not 30%, giving, I mean, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 100,000 or above. You see, you need to take the loan that you will accommodate within your premise, business itself. Because this is the money that you are going to, buy, uh, to pay back, Doreen. Yeah. I'm not talking about, this is not, this is not a grant. Mm. It is the money that you have to pay. So whatever amount that you are going to take, are you able to pay that money within that st uh, stipulated period of two weeks? Mm. So that is it. I mean, in fact, the, 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 the timing is denying. Um, I can tell you money is here. And then, and then the time frame of paying is here. So you will not go for it because of the time frame that you are, you are going to pay that loan. Mm. So this is something that even why my, my brother was talking about uh, that there will be... I mean, are there regions who have been targeted for, 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 for benefits? I mean, to benefit this, I mean, this fund. It is the whole nation. The whole nation is looking at the inauguration of the fund. And then every, every corner of this country will be expecting that fund. And of course, they will be able to get that fund. But that is not the big deal, uh, Doreen. That is not the big problem that I'm seeing. My big problem is, uh, is the usage and the time frame of this money. My problem is the, 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 the high interest rate that is charged. 
or condition that is put in this money. Mm -hmm. That is my concern. That's, that's, so that's the, the, moment, the moment that issue is addressed, okay. because when, when, when I look back, um, I'm somebody who is informed, uh, Doreen, I'm telling you about the worst of one, who was rated zero interest rates. But how many people benefited? I'm talking about the Women Enterprise Fund. How many people benefited? I'm talking about the Youth Enterprise Fund. How many people benefited? They are more to do than giving out money. Mm -hmm. So um, my, 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 my big really concern in, this, in the whole subject is that uh, we must look at first the person we are targeting. Mm -hmm. Once we look at the person and the conditions of the person that we are targeting at, we shall be able to, to put this fund into a conducive way or, I mean, it, it has to be easy to assess to the fund. Okay. It has to be it has to be within the capacity of the person who is taking the loan to pay within that stipulated time, mm -hmm. and uh, it has to be convenient. Mm -hmm. If it is not convenient, I mean, who will take it? I mean, if it is not if, if it is so expensive, who will take it? Uh -huh. So I mean, we need to. I, I think we need to, the framers of the whole subject must go back to the drawing board, rethink. In the context of this man that they are talking about, All not right. unless we are talking about a different person, right. not the border, border, not, not Mama Boga, not the border, I mean the, the Mkokoteni man. But you. the moment we are targeting at those people, we must be able to realize, I mean to reason together and say, how are we going to, I mean, benefit this man, I the hear, smallest man? I hear you. You've just talked about convenience and I'd want to extrapolate a bit further in respect to also what has been put in the regulations that, you know, they'll, be, they'll, they'll provide a USSD so it's going to be convenient in that regard. There's no bureaucracy, no lining no nothing just as such but again inter tying that to the issue of region because we know there are areas where and there are places in this country where even having a phone is a is a is, is a big problem much as they said both smartphones kabambe as long as you can you know <laughs> type that ussd but the biggest question is for those who are not tech service in those regions have we or do you think there's a proper mechanism that mechanism and if not what would you recommend so that then this fund the monument is launched regardless of where you are in this country regardless of region uh, i think there are, are already established financial uh, financial structures talk about, about cooperative societies in, in the, the, the cooperative societies in most of the regions talk about other financing institutes that are already in place talk about the mpesa that, that the mpesa is a structure that is already on the ground mm -hmm. So, the so that sets a benchmark. Yes. So, so what, we are, what we are basically saying that uh, if they are going to use the existing structures, okay. it means that the, the fund will reach the lowest man in the village. Mm -hmm. Because the, 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 the Safaricom is there. I mean, you talk about other financial uh, institutions like uh, cooperative banks. You talk about, I mean, there are a lot. I'm not seeing the structures being a problem mm -hmm. because these guys are going to use the, the, the existing structures. Mm -hmm. Existing structures, what will be used as Cooperative well. societies, safaricoms, and all that. That's why they are talking about the MPESA. Yeah. If and, you, and, and also engaging uh, telecommunication uh, yeah. companies. So, yeah. in fact, in this country, uh, Doreen, let me tell you, uh, as far as technology is concerned, I think we are quite advanced. Uh, you, every, these phones are almost everywhere in this republic. Mm -hmm. And the people are already trading using the phones. So, so it is not problem. going to be a problem. I mean, reaching out to the lowest man, it is, it is, it is actually very possible. The only, the, only, the only problem that I'm foreseeing is actually the conditionalities that have been put in place uh, mean for one to get these funds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I hear you. And as we begin to wind up, uh, Hamisi, I'd also want to pick your brains on this particular one, which is a matter that happened, is it two days ago? The president, while in Tatu City, Ruiru, announced that his administration would advance 300 million of these funds to the Twiga Foods, which is an agri-tech uh, company, so that then they can disburse it to their customers and suppliers. A matter that some Kenyans are raising questions with because they say that this was not part of the original plan. What do you make of this? Just cutting 300 million, giving it to a particular company, then they are the ones who are advancing this money to customers and supplier. The amount in question is 300 million to this uh, Twiga Foods um, uh, company. What do you make of this? Uh, these, ideas, uh, uh, these ideas are all good, but then we're introducing more people. When you introduce more people in, in the system like this one, especially a system where there's money exchange then you introduce more more problems. In fact, some of us were thinking, instead of giving that Mamamboga uh, the, the funds direct to, to her cell phone or for, for the purpose of doing their business, why don't we fund uh, the payment of uh, fees and charges? Because these people are being, uh, whether they sell today or not, they, they have to pay uh, the fees and charges. Suppose we say, how many business people are there at the lowest level? Uh, how much do we pay them? And you tell the counties, don't charge them. 
tell us, give us the, the list of who are doing business and we have paid for their license so that they just uh, wake up to, to do their business the way they do it. So, but those ideas, uh, those ideas, but the, the, po the, the moment you introduce another uh, administration in, into, or you focus on one company, one association, one cooperative, then you're already isolating so many. So the challenge of choice, the challenge of distribution, the challenge of why this, this institution, not us, will come in. And that is where the problem starts. When you touch money, money has issues in terms of uh, saying, why not me? Why them and not us? Like what my brother mm -hmm. said, is we have not started the coverage of these other funds. Were they covering the whole nation? Were they covering certain region? Were they covering age group? The way, the way, the way covering the needy people. How do we find that needy? Two, not everybody in Kenya wants to do some, some business. Some people just yeah. does, cannot. Oh, we have yeah. to train them. And because also, how do you monitor that? Training, how to do that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Th this is the challenge. This is the challenge of saying, how do you give somebody today and he, they start business tomorrow? Uh, do they have that business acumen? Uh, uh, is it in there? Are they getting the funds because the, they are, are they doing the business because the funds is there? Or they would they have also started doing the business? Like what my brother said, if those who are already in the business, we can assist them, we can lift them, we can raise them. But those who are not, let them give the fund and they do what they want to do and the government should <laughs> form it as a welfare. All right. I mean, we are really strapped for time, but there's really quite a lot we could have talked about, including also part of what is in that particular regulation where they said that uh, the administrative cost won't cost, won't cost more than 3% of the appropriated amount. But because you're really out of time, I just want to pick your headline thoughts in respect to it being launched today, what you really expect. Hamisi, let me start with you on that one. Yeah, we expect that the president will launch this uh, program today and we expect it, uh, people's interest, people, people, when the president says the fund is here, people want the, the fund tomorrow. So how do we uh, influence those people to the, the process this one? And if it delays, people say that the president launched it, but there's no money mm -hmm. and the noise can still come. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm foreseeing that uh, you, the president should be able to really convince us that we are launching today. It's not that tomorrow morning you get the fund because there are some conditionalities that people must they must must meet. Uh, so we are looking forward to that funding and it, let it be distributed properly uh -huh. so that people have a feeling that I'm part of it. I'm part of Kenya. I'm part of the fund. I'm part of. Uh, and then also, uh, does it lift the hustler out of the hustlerness? <laughs> because I don't people to, 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 to stay hustlers yes <laughs> what an interesting question there uh, but also let me let stop me, there. I hear you I hear you let me get also your headline thoughts Dr. Retich issues of interest coming to the fore that indeed when it's launched today let it begin operating today what would you I, say? I think the government is already prepared for the for launch that, okay. and then also prepared to give uh -huh. uh, the funds I don't think they launch and then leave it just that way. Mm -hmm. The only challenge, uh, Doreen, is that um, uh, how many people will go for that loan uh, depends entirely. It is something we have to wait and watch. <laughs> it's a wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> because um, if it is not attractive yeah. or making a big difference from the existing financial lenders, uh, I, I, I think, uh, let us wait and see. It's let us business. wait and see, because I don't want to over-speculate on uh, the outcome. Okay. But uh, one, one thing that I can tell you, yes. uh, Doreen, yes. uh, anything that is started uh, at, the, at, its, at its inception, it is very ugly. Uh -huh. But as we go along, it will be refined and refined and refined. Uh -huh. I believe the, fa the fund has very good intention, uh -huh. very good intention. Uh -huh. And uh, I believe it will finally meet the target of what the whole intention I mean, which was all about yeah. and um, my thinking is uh, I think they love to go to deep into the drawing board and then as they test the waters which I believe it is going to be murky okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they will refine the whole thing okay, <laughs> thank okay. you so much okay, thank you. and just as Amis is saying let's believe that it's going to actually get the hustle out of the hustlessness <laughs> at the end of the day um, I have been speaking to 
Dr. Joseph Rotich, who is a political analyst, as well as Hamis Simboga, who is a political and governance expert, who has been joining us um, via Zoom, of course, talking to us about their expectations, their recommendation. This is just as we await for this particular fund to be launched today by the president that is um, in, uh, in, the, in the CBD at Green Park um, uh, today. So we really quite expect a lot, and that's just what they have been chiming into in respect to that. Good place to end this particular conversation, but good morning, Kenya continues after this break. Stay with us.